Welcome back to another video guys. So my client wants a quiff. So a quiff goes straight forward and we're gonna chop off about half of this length. So the first thing you guys wanna do when you guys are converting from hairstyle to hairstyle, which is a slip back into a quiff. Let's first start with the top by saturating the hair with water. So you guys see here, every client's gonna be different. His calic area is right here. So I'm gonna start from here. We're gonna do like a little box section. Call this forward. And right here from the corner, push this forward, calm this down. So this is our canvas. We can either start in the side or we can start over here at the top of the head. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create my first guideline, an inch and a half. That's where our weight line is gonna be. So you guys can see we're working like this. That's where I want to establish the weight line. I'm going to pull this from the top. Let's go underneath. Pull the shears. Now with my three guard lever open, I'm going to flick out towards that weight line. I just want to make sure that I set it nice and crispy. If I didn't feel like I did a good job, I can always go back and correct my work. So I'm flicking up with the three guard lever open. This makes the three and a half. Repeat the process on this side as well. Flicking out with my Gamma Rebel. I'm using the wall premium guards. So once you guys have kind of like that weight line, I'm gonna go in with my Osser comb, shooting from the side of the parietal ridge area. A good technique with this is not to go in like this. It's because you're, you're gonna get a different shape. And kind of tilt your comb a little bit towards your client's head. This section right here, it went from basically his recession point right here towards the back and we left some nice clean bulk right here in the front. So now we're just left with the center and we wanna trim it according to our client's preference. This is how long your shit is, right? Yeah. Like it, that's just in the front. So how much of this would you wanna keep? Or less than half. Less than half, like right here? Yeah. All right guys, so my client requested basically about half almost gone. We're gonna keep the front a lot longer than the back. We're gonna create a little section right here at the center of the head. So from the start of the back of the cowlick over here, I'm just gonna comb this, put my thumb here, and then separate the hair. We're gonna go about a comb's length right here. Now that we've made that guideline right there, we're gonna go from the front. We want this to be the longest the longest point and my client did one a little bit more off. So it's gonna be kind of like rounded. I'm gonna start squaring it a little bit. I'm gonna connect this to the back. So you guys can go in two directions here. You guys can either start going vertical, vertical, keep going back. So, but I'm gonna try something new for you guys. I'm just gonna, already gonna start going horizontally and just taking sections from right here, look. So I'm just gonna match it to this. I'm just gonna keep rinsing and repeating until we get to the front. Uh, I finished the other side. I'm just gonna continue rinsing and repeating this process. Look, I'm gonna comb everything forward. You guys can see everything's really separated. Guidelines right there. I'm gonna texturize it. That's done, so we can comb this. Make another section and comb all this forward. All that we have now is this to pull up. Put your shears forward like this. Rest it on your ring finger. One, two, one, two. Because I want to see it from the front before I go ahead and chop anything off. go with my number two guard with the Rebel. So a good tip here, guys, you guys just want to contour his facial structure and let your machine do all the work. As I go up here, I'm pushing out the heel of the, of the machine like this. You guys can't go in with the teeth like this. It's not gonna cut. You guys have to put the heel and go against the hair growth. So his hair grows in different directions over here. So I have to kind of like maneuver the machine a little bit. The first thing before we set our guideline, I'm gonna separate the beard really quick. That's the sideburn area. We wanna go about a finger. 
Just so we establish that bald line, we know it's exactly one finger. Before we bald all of this thing out, then we're gonna go from the temple peak area right here to all the way back to the occipital bone, which is the bone right here that protrudes in the back of the head. So with my Gamma Evo X trimmer, I'm gonna dip this guideline. Separate the beard. Next step, with the lever open, we're gonna go a finger's length first in the beard. Next, let's attach our one guard, open up the lever. Anytime we open up the lever, it creates the half. So we attach the one guard. Now we got the one and a half. So you guys wanna go a finger's length above. Next step guys, just very quickly, this is a trimmer, half, one guard lever open, now we're going two guard lever open, our fingers length and flicking out towards that weight line that we set. And we also flicked up with our three guard lever open. So we're working up into the three guard lever open as well to that weight line that we set. So we're blending up to that bulk. I'm using my exposed razor by Stylecraft Pro. It goes straight in like this. I'm using the faded culture blades. Use David 10 for 10% uh, off for both companies. I'm gonna go ahead and start balding this thing out. We're gonna leave about half a finger towards the top. We're gonna shave everything below with my Babyless Pro FX3 shaver. If you guys are interested, you guys can check the toolbox, I think, in the description. So we want to flick up towards the top of the line, not all the way to the top. So just work this area until it's fully bald. And keep working your way towards the top. So now the next step, we're going to grab our hardest trimmer, which is our zero gap trimmer. And we're just going to re-bald everything. Kind of blend that, that shaver line to like that half of that stubble room that we blended. That's why we flick up towards the top of the line. So we leave a little bit of stubble so we can blend in that stubble to the shaving line. The next thing is we're gonna grab our soft trimmer and we're gonna baby tap the line just to move it a little bit. It's a trimmer that comes straight out of the box like that. It works perfectly well for this step because essentially you guys want to be moving that line with the same tool that you guys use to set the guideline and now just making it easier on our clipper by moving the line a little bit. The method we're gonna be using is called open to close. So we're gonna put it kind of like almost three quarters open and flick up towards the top of the line like this. And we're gonna be working in zones of the head. So go right here from the, from the ear, back to the temple, midway. We're gonna hit the guideline midway. Then close it all the way and hit the beginning of the line. Then go and start just gently opening it little by little. So once we're done from here to here, now we're going from here to the back of the head. So just to rinse and repeat the same method, so usually I just kind of like double check in the guideline, I open up the lever, then I hit it all the way through, put it three quarters, 
Now we're kind of almost working all the way to the top, but not really. Go midway. Hit the guideline midway. Close it all the way, hit the beginning. So we literally go from the closed position and then we open it little by little. The next step guys, we're gonna go from the closed to open position. It's a little different than this step. I like switching it up. We're gonna go close right here. Kind of repeat the same blending method in terms of working in areas of the head. So we're going from the ear with the closed lever position, working my way back over here, then go midway. Wanna hit the midway point. If you guys start at the top, you guys work your way to the bottom. Just slowly closing the lever. Now it's all the way open and we're gonna hit the full thing. So you guys notice how we went from the close to the open position. So you guys see that hard line right here? We're gonna go with our 0.5, three quarters open. We're gonna attack about half of this guideline right here. So that one guard lever open, it requires two steps to blend it out. So just imagine cutting that line in half. This step, you guys have to be very, very patient. You guys just have to kind of stick with it. Now, I'm gonna close the lever a little bit. And close it all the way. I was working my way lower and lower with my 0.5 guard, guys. This is the last line we got, guys, in our fade. We're gonna go two guard, close, and just flick out towards this line to soften it. So then we can go either close to open or open to close with our 1.5 guard, which is different than our one guard lever open. Our 1.5 guard is a little bit bigger than that one guard lever open. So don't get confused guys. This step is just to soften this. So then with the 1.5 guard, I'm gonna go open to close. So go a finger length above. Very gently guys, feathering. I'm quote unquote flicking out in the step. Slowly working my way up. So you guys wanna do that on both sides of the head. You guys can see that hard line right there. If you guys do encounter that, you guys can go back with the one guard lever open. I'm gently just feathering. I was gonna say, look happy, bro. <laughs>